Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Wonka7 here to sexually harass everyone who's watching this video at the end. You know it's coming. But anyway, I want to make a clarification that it's nihilists that piss me off, not nihilism. Because having a philosophical viewpoint like nihilism means you have a philosophical viewpoint. Nothing more. I'm not triggered by any philosophy. Even antinatalism, well, I can tolerate that. But it's nihilists that annoy me. Because a nihilist, especially one that means closer to right-wing ideals, that can move past political correctness and insult the racial egalitarianism, start Ebola quotes, dis feminism, and the churchy nature of liberalism and its structure, all this is pretty good. But then they start speaking about the fact that they're nihilists. They prattle around this. It becomes something that they obsess about, like, same way Jews obsess about the fact that they're Jews. To the point that even people that are really tolerant of Jews can get annoyed by it. Hence, a Doug Stanhope. I want to Google a word. Don't mind me, I'm just doing my thing. Okay, that word's interesting. I'm going to use it in the future. But... Really, when this comes to mind, think of satire, or sartire, or anus.com, that guy. These guys, they basically prattle on crappy political viewpoints, but they have the rhetoric on point, really. They're speaking about the right subjects, and they can't effectively have a voice against the current status quo. But instead of them calling for a, a return to tradition or recreating white identity or having something effectively replace it properly, and this is where you can go with the fact that Nietzsche wasn't necessarily a nihilist. He wanted to create. He wanted to bring things to fruition. There was a reason Ubermensch was a still a fairly popular concept. You got autistic people on the internet till this day considering themselves possible contenders for Ubermensch status, which by no means they can fulfill. <laughs> um, that's not what half these people are. They diss feminists, they diss the liberal structures, the universities, the government systems, but that's because they live in a different plane, which they have every right to do, but they make this they make it their mission that stuff like Christianity, stuff that's a return to the tradition, no, that has to go. They don't want that. They don't like that. And they can lead a lot of people astray that because they use a similar language, they insult the same people, and they cover the same stuff for racialism, maybe some elements of reactionaryism, or Things of that nature, things that seem familiar to us, these politically incorrect philosophical diatribes. However, sadly, then it becomes, oh, well, I gotta reject all of this because it's not in a plane of reality. I'm a nihilist. I live with no filters. I'm raw, 100%. Um, most people can't handle that, but I'm better than most people. At that point, you lose any following. 
That's why I noticed a lot of these nihilistic blogs. The reason they don't take off is because they start off seeing all the right things. Maybe get a small following from the confused portions of the crowd. But then when the nihilism kicks in, they might reject having a white identity. They might reject patriarchy. They might reject following charismatic males, potential leaders. They'll say that it's somewhat like Jesus and that that's bad all of a sudden. Having someone to confide in is a bad thing. And that's the biggest point. They don't want someone to confide in another person. They don't want that. To them, that's the original sin. And if you are a nihilist, you have to understand that you have to sacrifice that perspective for the greater good. You may not value the greater good, I don't know, but it certainly brings to fruition a lot more better stuff than anything the modern system can give, and anything your autistic fat fantasy can ever bring. A world where people are genetically more intelligent, that they don't rely upon these artificial constructs, these gods, these lower class things that are essentially just a filter for people that can't handle your reality or your perspective of reality, their racial identity, their patriarchy, their leaders, basically their bookmark men for how to be and who to identify with, their thieves. You may not really like that, but it's not always about you. That's important stuff for not just the nihilists, but also the end caps and the people that are still stuck in that sphere where, okay, I have these viewpoints, yet I also really want this system to basically dwindle down significantly in a foreseeable future and therefore it has to be something practical, pragmatic I can't advocate for something ridiculous like an anarcho-capitalist pantheistic model of the world, that's not going to happen anyway this is Mr. Walker 7 I promised everyone that in this video I would sexually harass all of you, so suck my dick. Uh, remember, if you basically look at any of these blogs and you seem disenfranchised with moderni modernity, with leftism, with all this stuff, but then they go further and they speak on nihilism, they reject any of the systems any system used to cultivate and herd the sheep then it's only going to get worse because these people work really well to jump the shark I mean the Bill Cosby superhuman race is certainly not anything to laugh at. That's something to be afraid of and be very afraid.